Hi guys and welcome to part 13 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to make all the necessary changes on our books component so we can get all the books from our database. We are going to start by first importing the necessary modules. So for that go to your books.component.ts file and you can find that file on the application components books books.component.ts. So for that let's import the Angular Fire database and Firebase list observable. To use the Angular Fire database, what we need to do is that we need to inject that one on our constructor. So for that inside our constructor, just write in here private, the name of the injection, db, and the type of that, which is Angular Fire database. And you can even remove this modifier from here. And next we need to get the data from the database and store them on a local variable. But the data from the Firebase database are going to be of format Firebase list observable. So down here just write books and this is going to be of type Firebase list observable and since it's going to be a list of books let us just write here list of any object and save the changes. Now inside the constructor just write in here that this.books is equal to db dot and we are going to use the list method of angular fire database and the property for the list is going to be path or reference so let's go back to our firebase database and we are going to see in here that our path name is books so let's copy this one from here and go back to your solution and inside this one just paste books so this is how you get the list of all the books from your firebase database now let's log the changes and see if everything works fine this dot books so save the changes and go back to your browser and open your console by pressing f12 and here we are going to see that we are actually logging an object of type firebase list observable if you want to log the books then just go back to our code and in here let's just write all books and this is going to be of type any and since the books is an observable array we could subscribe to that so for that let's write in here this dot books and we subscribe to this one and inside here just write books this dot all books is equal to books so console.log this dot all books save the changes and go back to your browser and here we are going to see that we get all our six books so guys this is all for this part on the next part we are going to learn how to use the ng4 directive to loop through all the books and show the titles in our books view. So guys thank you for watching and see you on the next part.